Welcome to Everyday Tech Tips for Everyday People. So in this video, I'm going to swap out the Wi-Fi card in my son's laptop. He's been complaining for a while of extremely, extremely slow network speeds from his bedroom. And when tested elsewhere, it is also underwhelming in performance. So I've decided I have some spare Wi-Fi cards. Um, he's got a Wi-Fi 4 card in his, so I'm going to take him up to Wi-Fi 5. Uh, which is what's on the spare card that I have and we'll see how that improves uh, the connection for his Wi-Fi or if it makes no difference whatsoever. Alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so I thought we'd start off by showing you his uh, speed test results. And as you can see, not that great. Um, and this is compared to my laptop which is sitting right beside his. And when I hit start on mine, right, and then we'll just go to the end. So, a hell of a lot faster than what his is, considering we are both just by the router. The router is on the other side of that little wall. Okay, so it's not very far away. Now, we go back to his one. So, we're going to take off the back, take off the screws. When I put the screws down, I like to sort of do a rough layout of where they used to go, especially if they're different sizes. If they're the same size, it doesn't matter. So we've got the big ones and the small ones. Um, I like to use a guitar pick and a little screwdriver to take the backs off laptops. This one came off really, really easy because I've been in there before. And here we have the Wi-Fi card sitting right there. So attached to it are two antennas. So there they are, they just clip on and off, so we'll just clip those off. Now they are numbered one and two, so make sure you put them back on the same way. Take that out, as you can see it just pulls out after doing off that little screw. And this is the donor laptop, which has been pillaged for many things. And there's the Wi-Fi card there looks almost the same and in fact it looks the same except it's not the same it's the faster version the Wi-Fi 5 and it's the same situation just pull off the two antennas undo the little screw wiggle it out put it aside and you see I put the back on the old laptop or James's laptop that's my son um, so I didn't damage any componentry as we used it as a makeshift table right so we uh, push it in it just goes in one way and then we screw it down, it gets a little bit fiddly, that's why I like to use uh, tools. And then, using a pair of pliers, we can attach the antenna. They can be a little bit hard to clip in, they have a tiny little pin that goes into the middle uh, of uh, uh, the, the wire itself. So what I like to do is generally come into it from the front, with something like a screwdriver and just gently push it down and you'll, you'll feel and hear a tiny little click like that time that time there give it a little wiggle it's nice and tight and then same with the second one this one took forever to go on in the end I ended up coming to it from the front on an angle to, to sort of marry it up and, and then when I pushed it down it clipped into place Right, so that's all done. I'm going to turn it over. I'm not going to put the back on just yet. Uh, we're going to do a test. So, uh, as you can see, he's into all sorts of uh, bands and bits and pieces. Right. So, we're going to run the same speed test. Just open up his computer. Yep, that's Ghost in the, um, not the reflection, that's me, but Ghost is the back top, background image. Right, going into the device manager, just to check to make sure that it doesn't need any drivers loaded. This one automatically uh, loaded them from Windows, um, it didn't have to do anything, but if you did, you would just run the um, search button, which is the top one uh, that looks like a monitor, and it would load the drivers. Right. Now I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi network.
And now we're going to speedtest.net and run the test. And let's hope for the best. And there we go, we've had download speeds and their upload speeds are way better than what they were before. In fact, they're very similar to my machine, which is Wi-Fi 6. So, uh, mission accomplished. I have increased his uh, network speeds and his performance. So his YouTube videos won't glitch. Right, there you have it. So that's fairly straightforward. If I was to put a ranking on how difficult it is, I would say a level three. As long as you're comfortable uh, sort of working inside electronics, if you've been inside a laptop before, the trickiest part is just getting those antennas on without destroying the connections. All right, so if you found that helpful, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, all that stuff and got any questions put them in the comments if you want uh if you want to suggest a topic for a video feel free to do so below as well i'll uh, be putting out videos fairly often so if you subscribe there will be videos in your feed fairly fairly often i've got some ideas up my sleeves already so i'm looking forward to making those very shortly all right so thank you again for watching and i will see you later